Well, number one, that's how it is in politics. Uh, my mission is to, just like the president, to serve the people. Criticisms will always be there, but I focus my energy on helping the people and bringing the president closer mm -hmm. to the people through social media, mm -hmm. helping government agencies mm -hmm. to disseminate information. Mm -hmm. So the criticisms are always there, mm -hmm. but you have to be strong, mm -hmm. just like the president, mm -hmm. or else you will, it will suck up the energy, mm -hmm. suck up the life out of you. Mm -hmm. So we need to focus on helping the people. Mm -hmm. It's good that there are opposition criticisms that shows that democracy is very alive here in our country, unlike what others are accusing of the president that he is a dictator. Mm -hmm. So that's how democracy works. Mm -hmm. People will criticize you, people will bash you. Mm -hmm. That's freedom of, expre of expression. Mm -hmm. But as a government worker, I will just continue to do my job in helping the people. Yeah, oo, meron yung, dumating na yung punto na gusto ko nang sumuko sa trabaho. Oo naman, syempre. Mas malaki pa yung... Parang feeling mo, hindi ko na kaya. Marami. I-google nyo na lang. I-google nyo na lang. Marami, ma'am eh. It will take us, ano, the whole day. Marami. But, if I think of myself, just being hurt by criticisms, that will be selfish. Kasi maraming tao ang nangangailangan eh, ng tulong. So, sabi nga ni Secretary Martin Adanar, this is a thankless job. Pero trabaho lang tayo. Kaya ako nandito, kaya ako pinagpapatuloy yung trabaho ko. Kasi iniisip ko yung mga bata na mga pamangkin ko. For the next generation. Kasi what, what the President is doing right now is for the next generation, for, for the youth na bumaba ang kriminalidad, mawala ang droga, umangat ang ekonomiya, para yung mga anak natin magkaroon ng mas magandang kinabukasan. Kaya kung susuko kami, mga trabahante ng gobyerno, ay eh babalik lang ulit tayo sa dati. So sometimes... Uh... No, I don't intentionally create controversy. Uh, I am an easy target. That's because uh, I came from show business and they cannot accept the fact that I'm in government. Also, the reason why they are attacking me, especially the mainstream media, is because a lot of people say that I am effective on social media. In fact, my Facebook page, Mocha Usum Blog, has surpassed the engagement on Facebook of the mainstream media. Kaya gusto nila, they want to destroy my credibility because a lot of people are reading my blog. Uh, okay, so my post on the EDSA revolution, I did not say it was fake news. I was asking the netizens, do you think it is fake news? Because back then there was no social media. It was controlled by the mainstream media. They controlled the narrative saying the tanks were ready to... Ano yung English ng banggain? To run over, the media said the tanks were ready to oh. run over the the priests, the nuns. But oh, let, there was you, another you. there was another story behind it. Mm. Meaning, now that there is social media, there is another source of information. Mm. So going back to your question, there is a um, there's real change that that's happening right now under the Duterte administration. So here, this is the real revolution, that it is not the oligarchs controlling the government. Now it's the ordinary Filipino people who is being uh, served by the government. Well, 
Well, just like the rest of the Filipinos, when Duterte announced that he was going to run for president, uh, we, we became so interested because finally, for the first time, there is a different candidate, unlike the traditional politicians or trapo. Kasi, dat, kasi dati, sanay na yung mga Pilipino. Yung mga kandidato, sasabihin nila, gagawin ko to, gagawin ko yan. They promise the world. But once they get elected, they forget all about their promises. That is what you call a traditional politician. But for Duterte, he's not like that. So the Filipinos became more active again in politics because they saw hope in Duterte. That is also my reason why, why I supported Duterte, from show business to politics. Siyempre, ilang years na lang ba? After, four more years. So after Duterte's um, presidency, administration, just like him, I will go back to my private life. But we'll continue to help uh, as a private citizen. We, uh, truth is, I cannot tell what the future holds. In fact, I never, I never imagined that I will be here right now where I am. But personally, I have no intentions, but I will help. I will continue to help voluntarily. So, erase na um, That When he said that he will stop corruption, drugs, and criminality, because the Filipinos have been so tired of corruption, criminality, and drugs. And that's why they saw hope, hope in Duterte. That's why they voted for him, because of these promises. Kasi eh, busy eh. Oo nga, kala ko sa aral yan. Oo eh, busy. Saan ko si yun? <laughs> busy talaga, sobra. Iba-iba kasi uh, Kung si Presidente out of town, minsan sumasama ako sa kanya. Minsan hindi. Minsan pupunta ako ng Marawi. Mins, uh, pa iba iba Dito sa office. Um, so, more on social media. Kaya nga na-postpone itong interview natin ng ilang araw. Do you miss your show? I miss my private life. Because before, I only think about my problems. But now, I think about the problems of the ordinary Filipinos. But I think that's a more meaningful, meaning, meaningful life that you don't only think about yourself, but you serve, you serve the people, just like the president. He could have just you know, chosen to enjoy his retirement, spend the rest of his time with his family, his grandchildren. But he said that uh, this is the perfect time for change, and I will do my best to get rid of corruption, criminality, and drugs in our country for my grandchildren. So he is also doing this for his grandchildren. Iba-iba. Minsan 6 a.m., minsan 1 p.m. If I have to go to Marawi, I have to be in the airport at 6 a.m. If I have to go to other places. So it's really... We are on call 24 hours. That's how the president works. Uh, depends on our schedule. If, uh, if I can go with him, I go with him. But if I have to go to other places. So, but my main task is to cover the president.
Because imagine you thinking of all the problems that has been accumulated from the previous administration. And he is just fixing everything. And it, and it has only been two years. And the, there's just so many things to be fixed here. So, and he's doing his job very, very well. <laughs> Correct. Like a handsome, strong horse. <laughs>